Welcome back to Vimo Software. Today, we are going to talk about a common issue that many Outlook users face, being stuck in offline mode. If you are unable to send or receive emails, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll explain why this happens and show a few simple steps to fix Outlook stuck in offline mode. Why is Outlook stuck in offline mode and how to fix it? Outlook sometimes plays a little game with us and sets itself to offline automatically causing email issues. This can happen due to various reasons like internet problems and incorrect settings. But fear not, there's a quick fix for this common frustration. Here's how you can fix it. Restart Outlook, go to the send or receive tab, click on work offline to switch it back online. Methods to fix Outlook stuck in offline mode error Method 1. Check for Office updates. Make sure your Microsoft Office program is up to date. Outdated versions can cause issues. If there are updates available for Outlook or Microsoft Office, install them properly. If you run into any problems while installing updates, try deleting and uninstalling the troublesome updates. Afterwards, restart Outlook. Method 2. Creating a new Outlook profile to fix Outlook stuck in offline mode. Open Microsoft Outlook. Click on File, then choose Account Settings, and select Manage Profiles. Next, click on Show Profiles and then Add. Enter a name of your new Outlook profile and click OK. This will close Outlook, restart it and choose a new profile name from the drop-down menu. Method 3. Start Outlook in Safe Mode to fix offline issue. Outlook Safe Mode is useful for fixing the problem when Outlook gets stuck in offline mode. It does this by stopping any add-ons from causing issues with how Outlook normally works. Close Microsoft Outlook. Press Windows key plus R. Type in outlook.exe forward slash safe and press enter. Outlook will open in safe mode. Perform send or receive on Outlook. Check the status bar. It should switch from offline to online. Method 4. Create a new Outlook OST file to fix the offline mode issue. If the earlier methods didn't solve your problem and your Outlook is still stuck in offline mode, it could be due to the issues with Outlook OST file. In such cases, you can either create a new OST file or use a tool to convert the OST file to a usable PST format for Outlook. On Outlook, click File, then go to Account Settings and choose Data Files. Select your Outlook profile and find the file location. Move the OST file to a safe place and close Outlook. Restart Outlook, it will create a new OST file fixing the offline problem and synchronizing your emails. Sometimes, if Outlook can't connect to the server or mailbox due to issues like problem with the mailbox server profile or a deleted mailbox, you may need to repair any damaged OST files first to recover deleted emails and fix file problems. Method 5. Manually configure Exchange Server Account If your connection is still not working, you can manually set up your Exchange account. This helps you control the connection and its status. Go to File in Outlook and click Account Settings. Choose your Microsoft Exchange Server Account under the Email tab. Click Change for more options. In Manually Regulate Connection State, select Connect with Network from the menu. Click OK, then Next and Finish to finish the setup. Finally, close the Account Settings window by clicking Close. If you have tried every solution method above and can't fix your Outlook, try using the Remo PST Repair tool. It's an excellent tool for resolving the Outlook problems. Fix Outlook issues using Remo PST Repair tool. The Remo PST Repair tool can fix broken PST files and resolve problems using its advanced repair algorithms. It safely extracts data from the original file, repairs the issues, and creates a new healthy PST file. It can also fix Outlook errors and recovers deleted items like emails, appointments, and more in Outlook. Download and install the Remo Repair Outlook PST software on your computer. The download link is mentioned in the description below. 
Launch the software and you will be presented with three options. 1. Open default PST file. If your default Outlook PST file needs to be repaired, select this option and click on next button. 2. Select PST file manually. If you know the location of your Outlook PST file, simply select this option to browse and select the PST file that needs to be repaired. 3. Find all your PST files. If you are not able to find any of your PST file or if the file is not on the default location, then use this option to find the PST files on your drive. Now, click on Select PST File Manually option and click Next. Further, click Browse and select the PST file that needs to be repaired, then click on Next. As soon as you click Next button, a window to select the scan type and destination path to save the repaired PST file is displayed. Select the appropriate scan method and browse for the destination path to save your repaired PST file and click repair button. The application will use its advanced scanning algorithm to repair the corrupt PST file, extract the emails and other Outlook data to the new generated PST file and restores them in the selected destination location. Restored PST file is similar to the original corrupted PST file. While recovery, all the recovered emails would be loaded in the application main window. If you find that the email you are looking for is not found after a normal scan, then perform smart scan on the PST file. This will rigorously search the selected PST file for lost or deleted emails. During this search, if the program finds the attachment whose parent information is missing, then it will be displayed in a new folder by name often attachment. In conclusion, when Outlook gets stuck in offline mode and nothing else seems to work, you can rely on Primo Repair Outlook PST software. It's simple to use, effective, and it won't cost you a thing. Give it a try now and fix your Outlook and get back to sending and receiving emails without any issues. That's it for today's video. We hope these troubleshooting steps were helpful in getting your Outlook out of offline mode. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.